Introducing Google Vids, a tool that allows students to create short videos with minimal editing. To get started, students can either go to vids.google.com or choose Vids from the plus sign button in Drive. They can choose to start with a template or create a project from scratch. If they choose a template, you can stick with just one seam or insert all. I think it's less overwhelming for students to start with just one scene at a time. Double click the text box to edit the words. The editing tools are very similar to Google Slides and Docs. You can choose insert stock media to choose a stock photo, video, son, sticker, or GIF. You could also choose my media to pull files from Google Drive or upload to insert files from your computer. Clicking play allows us to see what we have so far. You can drag the scene to make it longer or shorter. You can zoom here to more easily see each scene. We'll click the plus sign to add a new scene. You can choose another scene from the template we chose before, or simply add your own text boxes and elements. To delete a scene, you can click and press backspace on your keyboard. Click the icon in between two scenes to add a transition. Let's create a voiceover. First, drag the player head to the beginning. You can optionally start by creating a script for yourself to easily remember all the details you want to say. When you're ready to record, you can click here or here to start. You can choose to record your webcam, both your screen and webcam, just your screen, or in our case, we'll choose voiceover. If you need to adjust which microphone you're using, you can click the gear. Click the red button when you're ready. Click the button when you're done. You can preview the recording and choose to either re-record or insert the clip. Click and drag the audio to adjust where it starts. Similar to scenes, you can also trim the beginning and end. You may have to play around to get the timing just right. If you click on the middle of the audio, you can split it up more easily to adjust where it goes. Double clicking the audio will allow you to adjust the start time in case you make a mistake in the beginning. To add music, we'll go to insert and stock media. Then choose the music heading. Click play to preview a song. You can also search keywords such as moods and music genres. Drag the player head to the beginning and click the title of the song to add it to your project. If you accidentally add more than one, you can click the song you don't want and press backspace on your keyboard. You may want to make the music quiet and your voice loud to hear everything correctly. Click your voiceover, the one called audio recording, and click the audio button. Make sure the volume is 100%. Do the same for your music, but change 100% to a smaller number. You can right click on an element to choose an animation or highlight everything at once and choose one animation for all the elements on the page. Give your project a title. If you need to come back to this project the next day, no worries. It automatically saves and you can find it by going back to the Google Vids homepage. We can double check our work one last time by clicking play to see how it all comes together. To share a project, we will click share at the top. Then change the link so anyone in CCSD21 can view. Copy the link and paste it in either a Google Classroom or Seesaw activity. Now anyone in the district with the link can view your video. You can download the video as an MP4 file here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss our next video.